Hello YouTube, Chevy and Rico here with another GTA hack. Well, not hack, this is this is more of a little trick that you can use to gain solo access to a public lobby, which will allow you to uh, do your motorcycle club missions and CEO club missions or whatever in peace uh, without getting attacked by other players. So first things you're going to need is a laptop or desktop computer. I am using a laptop. It's just easier for me to use. Um, you can bring it with you. It just makes it easier. But it can be done with the desktop. Um, you're also going to need your modem or gateway's default IP address, username, and password. And usually you can find that on the modem or gateway, uh, depending on what kind of modem or gateway you have. I have a Netgear, so if you have that, usually they have that on the sticker um, that's on the f modem physically itself. And then you're also going to need your console's IP address. So I'm using an Xbox One. This should work for a PS4 as well. Um, but I have no way to test that, so please feel free to check that out and leave comments below. If this helps you out, guys, please like the video, subscribe. Um, I'm not very consistent with videos, but I try to be on stuff like this. So first things first, you're going to want your, uh, your modem's default access. And mine is located right here in the corner. I don't know if you can see that. It's starting to focus. There we go. Uh, so this is default access, the IP address, um, and you're gonna want to put that in a like a a browser bar, like Internet Explorer or Chrome or Safari, whatever you want. Um, then it'll give you a dialog box to put your admin uh, username and password. So I'll show you that now. So let me click out because I've already logged into it, but I'll click out and I'll show you. All right, so up here in my Google Chrome uh, browser box, I'm just going to type in my default IP address, right? And it will usually pop up with a um, dialog that says type in your uh, username and password. And mine was admin and password. So basically, it's just going to come to this screen. And what you're going to want to look for is uh, IP filtering. Um, some some of them are called IP filtering. Some of them are called parental controls. Uh, it just depends on your model. But essentially what you're doing is IP filtering. Oh, sorry. Not Mac. IP. And this is where you're going to need your console's IP address. So the way that you're going to find that uh, is by going into your network settings. All settings. Mine's on network by default. And you can kind of just go to advanced settings on Xbox. And right there, it'll show you exactly what your IP address is. So 192.168.0.9 is the console's IP address. And that's what you're going to want to write down because you're going to put it into a filter in your modem, basically. And Guys, it's easier than it sounds, trust me. Um, so once you're on this page, you'll be able to do... Uh, in fact, let me delete my current one. Alright, so you'll be able to go into like a dialog box like this, and you'll be able to type in that IP address, so 192.168.0.9. Okay. Oh, no, that's the device name, derp. <laughs> So I'll call it Xbox, and then 192.168.0.9. Okay, and you can just click the Add button after that. So now there's a little IP filter list. It'll show you how many IPs you have in this filter. Um, mine has an enable checkbox, so if it's enabled and you click apply down here, it will basically block the internet connection to this IP address, which is the console. Um, the trick with this is essentially what you're going to want to do is make sure that you're well connected. Okay, so you're all good. And after you've got that set up, you can go right into Grand Theft Auto. Uh, and I load from the menu just because sometimes you run into glitches from the screen. But 
Either way, as long as you get into a public lobby, you're fine. So play GTA online, go, quit, yada yeah. And feel free to skip forward in the video. <laughs> I don't have the software to to make videos legit. Um, so I appreciate you guys' patience. And like I said, if this helps you, then great. Leave a like or a comment. Um, so we're joining currently. And again, you have that IP filter that, on that IP address. All right, so it looks like we're getting right into a lobby right now. It takes forever. <laughs> All right, looks like I'm loading. Remind me later, damn it. Okay. So I'm loading into my MC. Come on. Okay, so once you're in here, uh, the first thing is you're going to want to do is just go outside. That way you can kind of pretty much see what you want to do or what, what this trick is doing uh, so you know it works. Come on, buddy. Exit clubhouse. Alrighty. Alright, now that you're here, you can see that I am in a public lobby. There are people in it. Currently, there's a lot of them. Alright. Um, so I'll hit the start button. And I'll kind of go look at where everybody is on the map. Looks like I got a lot of people over here. And you'll notice that they'll be moving around, like this guy, these guys up here, they're moving around. Um, now when you do this trick, you're going to want to do it quickly. So here's what's going to happen here. I'm going to go back to this IP filter list. I'm going to click the checkbox that says enable and then I'm gonna hit apply and count to 10 in my head so once that refreshes the screen you're gonna to want to count to 10 and you'll notice that everyone on the screen is gonna freeze like that okay so we're just about at 10 seconds we're gonna to want to come back here uncheck that box click apply again to restore your normal internet connection. After that, you'll notice everybody drops out of the lobby. <laughs> and you'll be the only one left in your own separate public lobby. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's essentially it. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to comment below. I'll try to help you out the best I can. Um, but like I said, the, the things that you're mainly going to need are your console's IP address, um, and you're also going to need your um, modem's IP address. If you can gain access to the modem and everything like that, then uh, at that point, it should become easier for you. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, uh, subscribe if you want, and uh, stick around. We might, we might be coming out with some more like this. And I apologize once again for the cell phone footage.